manufacturing competitiveness objectives the objective of this presentations are understand the need to be a competitive manufacturer learn various aspects of competitiveness learn ways to measure competitiveness understand what corporate mission is and mission statement of organization understand techniques for value addition for customers through competitive priorities and understand the meaning of manufacturing competitiveness structure of this presentation is the first part will be introduction then brief history of manufacturing the third part will cover competitiveness then comes productivity as a measure of competitiveness strategy and competition competitive priorities building production or operations strategy on competitive priorities elements of production or operations strategy competitive advantage from manufacturing competitiveness to world class manufacturing and in the last summary introduction the globalization of product market offers a unique challenge to manufacturing firms today globalization relates to the ability to develop and produce products for regions of the world different from the home country when a firm intends to go global its objective is to leverage its size and knowledge to produce additional sales in new market for many years few companies regard the manufacturing processes they employ as a source of competitive advantage the goal of the firm relating to manufacturing or operations were cost reduction and improved utilization of labor and machinery in the 1970s and 80s a new perspective emerged as global competitor began to dominate major industries such as automobiles motorcycles domestic appliances and consumer electronics manager started looking for the reasons for these companies to be successful it was observed that these successful companies adopted highly efficient operations which enabled them to produce high quality products quickly these companies were able not only to produce great innovative products of high quality but also bring these new products to market fast that is high speed to the market these new world class companies established new benchmarks in the areas of quality and productivity manufacturing or operations emerged as a key of competitive weapon required for success in the global competition the past few decades have shown the vital power and importance of manufacturing or operations to business and also to the entire national economies developed countries can add to their national wealth and standard of living by supplying goods to the world marketplace for example a japanese economy has flourished after world war 2 because many japanese businessmen excelled in production function many other countries have entered this race for a share of the world market and the collective power of the production function within those nations will be an important determinant of the size of the share of each wins work in manufacturing and operations will become more exciting and challenging in the years ahead how well manufacturing and operations are managed will decide whether economics of the entire nations will improve or decline to meet these changes manufacturing firms are now adopting new methods and applying new technology in addition to adopting new technology companies in developed countries are trying to gain or retain the market share by offering customers better value by improving product quality and achieving higher productivity these objectives can be met primarily by the manufacturing and operations function brief history of manufacturing wide spread production of consumer goods did not begin until the industrial revolution in the 1700s earlier to that time customized goods were produced by skilled craft persons this type of production term craft production involve 
द प्रोसेस ऑफ हैंड क्राफ्टिंग ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स और सर्विसेस फॉर इंडिविजुअल कस्टमर्स ड्यूरिंग द इंडस्ट्रियल रिवोल्यूशन अ सीरीज ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल इन्वेंशन रिवोल्यूनाइज द वे वर्क वॉज परफॉर्म्ड मैकेनिकली पावर्ड मशीन्स रिप्लेस्ड द लेबर एज अ प्राइमरी फैक्टर ऑफ प्रोडक्शन एंड फैक्ट्रीज इमर्ज एज अ सेंट्रल लोकेशन फॉर वर्कर्स टू परफॉर्म टास्क अंडर द डायरेक्शन ऑफ सुपरवाइजर्स और फोर मन एडम स्मिथ इन सेवनटीन सेवेंटी सिक्स प्रपोज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डिविजन ऑफ लेबर इन विच द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस वॉज ब्रोक डाउन इन टू सीरीज ऑफ स्मॉल टास्क इच परफॉर्म बाय अ डिफरंट वर्कर दिस लीड टू द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ स्पेशलाइज मशीनरी एंड स्पेशलाइजेशन ऑफ द वर्कर ऑन लिमिटेड रिपीटेटिव टास्क इली व्हीटने इन सेवनटीन नाइंटीज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इंटरचेंजेबल पार्ट इन द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड पार्ट इन लार्ज वॉल्यूम दिज नेसेसलाइज अ सिस्टम ऑफ मेजरमेंट एंड इंस्पेक्शन अ स्टैंडर्ड मेथड ऑफ प्रोडक्शन एंड सुपरवाइजर्स टू चेक द क्वालिटी ऑफ प्रोडक्शन एंड प्रोडक्टिविटी ऑफ द वर्कर एडवांस ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी कंटिन्यूड थ्रू द एटीज एंड इन अर्ली नाइंटीज एफ डब्ल्यू टेलर आइडेंटिफाइड द बेस्ट मेथड फॉर परफॉर्मिंग ईच जॉब एट मिड वैली स्टील वर्कस वेअर ही वर्क एज चीफ इंजिनियर हिज एप्रोच to management of work later come to be known as scientific management henry ford applied scientific management to the production of automobiles and was successful in reducing the assembly time per car leading to the mass production of cars the term mass production refers to the high volume production of a standardized product of a mass market mass production dominated manufacturing worldwide up to 1960s from the period of introduction of mass production in automobile assembly line by henry ford in his automobile plant in the us there were many contributors to the development of production management some of the contributors were ilton mayo who is in human relation movement which introduced the idea that workers motivation as well as the technical work affected the productivity the second contributors are abraham maslow who produces the motivational theories the next is george dantzig and remington rand quantitative models and techniques which are now known as operation research and management science for decision making to solve the problems related to manufacturing and services are discovered by the george dantzig and remington rand in the 1960s there was an upsurge in the application of technical advancement to the field of production using computers and automation even though us was were the world's greatest producer of goods and services up to 1960s in the 1970s and 80s the manufacturing superiority of us was challenged by the lower cost and higher quality from japanese manufacturer the failure of us manufacturer to face the challenge by japanese manufacturer was due to over reliance of us manufacturer on mass production mass production can produce large volume of goods quickly but it cannot adapt very well to the changes in demand mass production does not fit the changed environment characterized by product profilization shortened product life cycles shortened lead time for product development changes in technology customized products and segment market japanese manufacturer used the concept of just in time and shifted from mass production to lean production lean production is an adaptation of mass production that emphasizes quality rather than quantity and flexibility rather than efficiency in the 1970s and 1980s there was a quality revolution ushering the techniques of jit that is just in time and tqm that is total quality management which are the underlying forces for successive operation even today the emphasis on total quality and strategic importance of operations enable manufacturer to be competitive in the world market technology supported by changing political and economical environment led to the era of industrial globalization in which 
companies competed the worldwide for both market access and production resources.